All right, it is a Jay Morris show, 590 KZO. Uh, something special going on this weekend. It is, it, is, uh, it is called the Warrior Ride, the 2009 Warrior Ride. In with me here is uh, Sean Willis. Uh, tell me a little bit about this ride and how you got involved and in, in where it started and where it's going and everything. Sure, Jay. Uh, thanks for having us here, and thanks to all the uh, military members who are out there serving and uh, their families for their sacrifice. Uh, the Warrior Ride is a bicycle ride. It uh, started in Detroit uh, today, and the riders will be riding 250 miles uh, uh, by bicycle over four days. It ends on Sunday at the uh, military Fort Custer base in Battle Creek. All right. That's uh, very cool. Now, Sean, you're actually the one who pointed me to this. There's a reason. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, the uh, the crux of the event is it's it's sort of a, a living tribute, if you will, to uh, Corporal Christopher Kelly Willis, who uh, I had the privilege of serving with in my Marine Corps Reserve That's unit. Awesome. Uh, he was he was in the Battle Creek unit. He was actually on the other side of the house, uh, Bridge Company Alpha. I was Engineer Support Company. But I got to know him pretty well when, uh, for a few weeks, we all got sent to uh, Ukraine uh, to do a little training over there, basically helping uh, build some uh, facilities at a, a military base out there. It was sort of an international uh, exercise. There were a lot of other countries represented there. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, Corporal Willis was uh, was the guy that, that you remember. I mean, you know, a lot of people hanging out there, facing names blurred together, but Corporal Willis stands out. You know, not only, you know, a hardworking guy who got the job done, but he was he was kind of the cut-up, too. You know, always lively, always upbeat, uh, you know, quick with a joke. Uh, you know, he made, he made your day go by a little better. And, uh, you know, we served together, and then, uh, you know, our unit was activated to go to Iraq, and, uh, you know, shortly after returning from Iraq in uh, uh, summer of 2003, uh, sadly, Corporal Willis uh, was lost in, in a car accident. And I, I'd heard about this. This was brought to my attention uh, recently about this bike ride to sort of raise funds for a scholarship foundation in his name, and I just I had to be involved with it. And fortunately, his brother, Sean, was able to come in today and, and talk with us a little bit about it. So, Sean, are you who set? Are you the one who set up the ride, the foundation, and and everything else as a memorial? Yeah. Shortly after Chris's passing, uh, my brother Michael Willis and I set up the foundation. Okay. And uh, we set it up in his honor uh, to basically help Marines and their families, and that's transitioned into helping all military members and and their families. Wow, that's that's really outstanding. Now, uh, Shawnee, who do we have on the phone then? Well, we've got a real hard charger on the phone here. You know, I, when I first heard about this, I just heard about the bike trip from Kalamazoo to Fort Custer, about 17 miles. I said, you know, I can do that. I'll saddle up for that. And then I was quickly put to shame when I heard, well, apparently the real hard chargers are coming all the way out from Detroit going this long haul. So we got one of those motivators with us right now. Sergeant Ron Patty is, is in Ann Arbor working their way out here, and he uh, pulled over for a moment to say hi to us. Sergeant, how's the ride going so far? Hey, it's uh, it's going all right, Jay. Uh, thanks for having me on the phone, and I just want to say hoorah and semper fi to all those Marines out there. Hoorah! Uh, we got the uh, we got the rubber to the road and uh, keeping the charge moving forward. So everything's uh, going well. How's the weather been so far? Oh, can't complain. It's been uh, it's been a great day. A little humid out here for a ride, but uh, we're all keeping hydrated and uh, everybody's good to go and motivated to get the job done. All right. So how far are you gonna how far are you gonna make it today? Uh, we're actually riding 265 miles uh, today. We're about a mile outside of uh, of the uh, place that we're staying at tonight, which is the uh, Holiday Inn in Ann Arbor. All right, so you're, you're going to kick down for the night and then kick it in again tomorrow? Ready to make it happen bright and early in the morning. Keep, keep it going forward. You're doing a great thing, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Sergeant uh, Ron Patty there. He is in Ann Arbor just a mile away from, from the end of the day, which is, he said, great. You I, couldn't, you couldn't, I could, well, I'm not even going to tell you I could even try. You couldn't do that? But but they say, you know, it, it's like already, I mean, they, you know, these guys are doing more in like a couple hours and I'm going to accomplish all day. I mean, I, I feel lazy just hearing about this terrific effort they're, they're putting together. But, you know, it's got to be so motivating knowing the cause, knowing that there's like a bigger thing you're riding for. You know, you can't just pull over and quit because there's no. a lot of people counting on you, depending on you to push through. Where's the money going to go to then as, as, as it's raised then? Sure. The uh, all the proceeds go to a scholarship fund uh, for uh, children uh, whose parents have died in combat. This year's uh, proceeds is actually funding a college scholarship for Amira Good. Uh, her father, Jordan Good, a uh, local uh, army guy, died in Afghanistan, was killed in combat uh, about a year and a half ago. And so uh, Amira's four years old. 
and uh, for her father's sacrifice, uh, her college will be paid for. Outstanding, man. What a, great, what a great idea, and what a great living memorial. So you're going to do this then subsequent years and, and continue, or what's the game plan? Uh, the Warrior Ride, this is the fourth year for yeah. the Warrior Ride. So, okay. yeah, it'll be a continuing scholarship. We're trying to take care of uh, the local uh, kids who've lost, lost parents, so Calhoun County, Kalamazoo County, and Van Buren County right now. Okay. So. Now, I believe, can, can people still get involved? Because the information I had here is you can, you can come out to Bronson, you know, bring your bike, and uh, you know, for, for a, a very a meager donation, really, you can get involved in this ride. That's correct. Um, so if you want to be part of the Warrior Ride on Sunday, if you want to show up at Bronson Park, obviously if you can RSVP to us by calling 492-1040, letting us know that you're going to be riding. It's 15 miles, costs you 50 bucks. Ride with us out to Battle Creek. There'll be a 21-gun salute, color guard. Representative Jace Bolger will be speaking, and we'll be presenting Amira Good with her scholarship at the base out there at about 1 o'clock. Wow. So it's really neat. Uh, if you got a bike you want to ride, show up there at uh, Bronson Park at 10 a.m., Fifty dollars, and uh, you can ride with us. How many riders are you talking about? Well, right now we've got uh, about fifty that have RSVP'd, okay. uh, plus the twelve that are on the main Warrior ride that are going to be uh, coming in from about two hundred and forty miles at that point. Wow, that is outstanding. Well, it said great idea. You know, fantastic living memorial to your brother. Uh, you want to give the website real quick too? Sure. Uh, for more information, go to www.cckwf dot com dot org okay dot org uh, i said and i'm looking at it now it, it said just outstanding so thank you for coming in thanks for making the time today and uh you know what a, just great i mean yeah. outstanding well thanks thanks for having us in. and again uh hoorah to all the uh military members out there and thanks, hoorah! thanks sean patrick for your service as well all right uh sounds good thanks a lot uh, this is the jay morris show 590 kzl